Hey guys, today we're going to be doing some home restocking and home resetting. I'm also going to be sharing a couple of healthier recipes, cookie dough, protein bites, a new protein shake that has been my go-to daily for the past couple of weeks. Of course, doing a lot of cleaning, a lot of decluttering, and a lot of organizing. So let's get ready and do this together. Hey guys, welcome to Jamie's Journey. I hope you're ready. We're going to be doing a lot today. So it's been a while since I did a good clean out of the fridge, the pantry, a declutter, a wipe down, a restock. So that's what we're going to be doing today. On day two, I'll be sharing some meal prepping and some healthy recipes with you guys. I've been kind of on this journey to start doing more strength training. And with that comes you know, healthier recipes, higher calories, higher protein. So a lot I'm going to be sharing in today's video. And I just want to say thank you for being here. I hope when you leave this video, you're feeling good. You're feeling happy. Maybe you feel motivated, but it doesn't matter. I just hope that by the end of this video, I can make your day a little bit brighter. Thank you for being here. Truly. Thank you. So I am currently trying to get this video edited in real time as I'm doing the voiceovers. I'm getting ready, well, Mike and I are getting ready for a little overnight getaway. So his work party, they actually delay until January, which I've heard of a lot of workplaces doing that. And I really like it. It's just nice because December can get so crazy, you know, trying to fit everything in and personally it's just harder to fit those type of parties in and fully enjoy them but then the other side of that I feel like having it in January a few weeks after the crazy craziness of the holiday season you can go breathe and relax and just fully enjoy yourself so he does work um, if you guys are new here he works fully remote his office I think is I think it's around two hours away so we are going to go to the party and then we are just going to stay overnight in a hotel because it was going to be pretty late and we didn't really want to be driving um late that late at night so it should be a fun evening a fun little getaway and we're very lucky to have grandparents watching the girls they love going to their grandparents house so it's kind of a win-win for everyone but it should be fun
Okay, so pendant light cleaning. They're such a pain. I know you guys you guys get it. Um, so a tip that I have heard before that I've never tried is to take them off and put them in the dishwasher. These are too big. They would not fit in the dishwasher, but there's just also something that just makes me nervous because like what if it would crack or break? Then you have to buy a whole new one. Um, so I don't know if you guys have tried it. You can feel free to leave a comment in the comment section, but what I do the best method, there's really no true best be best method, is I go in with a wet rag, a wet microfiber cloth and Dawn Power Wash and I wipe down the outside and the inside of the pendant light. And then I go in with a wet e-cloth, the glass and polishing cloth. So a wet glass and polishing e-cloth, wipe it down outside, inside, and then I follow up with a dry glass and polishing e-cloth and dry it all. And that is the best method I have found. So Dawn Power Wash with a white micro, wet microfiber cloth and then a wet glass and polishing e-cloth and then a follow it up with a dry e-cloth. I hope that makes sense. Um, but that's how I do it. And then here I'm gonna get ready and soak some of Mike's dirty hats. He wears a hat every single day around the house, every single day a ball cap. And so I was going to do some deep cleaning. I'm just gonna combine some powdered Tide um, I just kind of eyeball it, powdered tied borax and oxyclean white revive and let it soak all day long. So I've been running a humidifier on my bedside table nightly. It is just so dry here and it is a pain to clean humidifiers. If you have a humidifier, you know what I'm talking about. I get this one off of Amazon. I will have it linked in the description. The one link that has all of the um, links to the cleaning products and tools that I'm using, that'll be in that link. But if you guys have a recommendation for a humidifier that's easy to clean, let me know in the comment section. Um, this one is just, it was highly rated on Amazon. I've had it for years and I like it. I have no issues. It's just a pain to clean. So I use my hand steamer, my Bissell Steam Shot hand steamer. That seems the best way. I've tried cleaning it and scrubbing it with vinegar. Nothing helps like the steam shot hand steamer. So that's what I was doing.
cleaning out the fridge and restocking is not one of my favorite chores to do but it's one of those that gives me the most satisfaction when I'm done. There's a lot of cleaning tasks that I really enjoy doing and it gives me satisfaction when it's done like clean floors or vacuuming. Um, but when it comes to putting groceries away, restocking, cleaning fruits and making everything look nice, it's just a tedious task I find and I just don't enjoy it, but I love, love, love the way it looks when it's all done. I don't do it as often as I should, but I notice that when I do do it properly from start to finish, the kids make better choices when it comes to food and snacks. And we also don't waste as much food because I feel like when things are decluttered or all over the place, food gets hidden and we just end up wasting more. So this is my goal to do this more often. So I know I've talked about doing more strength training, but something else I've really been focusing on as well is getting more protein in my diet. It's important to get in enough protein and the right amount of proper calories in order to properly build muscles. Nutrition when it comes to exercise is just as important, and I know some people would even argue nutrition is even more important than the actual exercise. So I've been loving this protein shake that I've been making recently. I'll share the recipe here in a minute when I'm done restocking the fridge. So I just ordered some more, like I just got in some more of the protein powder I've been using lately, so I'll also share that. I've always drank the pre-made shakes because I could never find the right protein shake recipe that I've loved, but this one is really, really good. I've been making it almost daily. It's not too sweet, but it also kind of tastes like a treat. I'll share that when I restack the freezer and declutter the pantry with the items that I got in my latest Thrive Market order. That's where I, I've been getting the protein powder because it's cheaper than if I got it from my local Kroger, which is where I can get it locally. And I also checked on Amazon and it is by far the cheapest at Thrive Market. So in my Thrive Market order, I also stocked up on lots of everyday snacks for the kids that are just healthier. It's currently four degrees and it feels like negative 10. So we've been spending a lot of time inside and I don't know about you, but we tend to eat more when we're inside, especially the kids. They constantly want snacks. So I feel better if there's healthier alternatives fully stocked in the house. I've also said this before, but when everything is neat and organized in the fridge and the pantry, the girls truly make better choices for themselves. And I also want to say this out front, Thrive Market saves me money every single time. They have guaranteed savings. If you have a yearly membership and at the end of the year, if you don't save as much as you spend on the membership, they will credit you the difference so there's nothing to lose.
Okay, so before I share the goodies that I got from Thrive Market to do some restocking in the pantry, I wanted to share this protein powder. I actually already got into it. I've tried it before from Thrive, and this is my second time, and I made a protein smoothie or a protein shake just recently. I had a protein smoothie. been trying to get in as much protein as I can. I'm aiming for about 100 to 100, a little over 100 grams a day of protein, and I, I've been really, really liking it. All right, so the goal here was to stock up on some healthy snacks, healthy food for the whole entire family. Some protein pancake and waffle mix. I'm gonna make something tomorrow with these for breakfast applesauce pouches. So I've been using these in my protein shakes to give it a little bit more flavor. Sometimes I'll add it to my coffee. I like my coffee pretty black, but I just like how it's not super, super sweet. So 10 calories, um, zero sugars. So really, really good, especially when I can add it to my smoothies or protein shakes. The girls love these fruit circles. We get these every time. So I've been doing a lot of Greek yogurt lately for a an afternoon snack or a snack before bed. Just again, to get a little bit more protein in. And instead of granola, I love granola. I love the crunch of it. I love adding that to my yogurt, but it can be full of sugar. Even like the lower sugar content granola still has a lot of sugar. And that's just not, like if I want a lot of sugar, I'll just eat a cookie. I don't wanna add it into my meals or those type of snacks. So I've gotten this before and it's a cereal, but I just add it to my vanilla Greek yogurt and the girls actually like this for breakfast. It has nine grams of fiber and 11 grams of protein. So sprinkle this. They have a couple different flavors. Really, really like this brand. Our staples every time. The girls love the Lara, the Lara bars. So chocolate chip, cinnamon, the Z bar protein. I get my collagen peptide powder from Thrive Market. I've never tried the vanilla. I always just get the unflavored, but I'm on a big vanilla kick right now with my vanilla Greek yogurt my vanilla creamer, my vanilla protein powder. I'm just on a big vanilla kick, so I thought, why not get this? So I'm gonna try this out, see if I like it better than the unflavored. Um, macaroni and cheese. Um, these are kind of a new thing that I got, some compostable sandwich bags. I thought it'd just be a little bit better. I feel a little bit, you know, I'm not perfect when it comes to sandwich bags, but little steps. So I got those. We love this popcorn, Mike especially. I This is gonna be gone within a day or two. He loves it. Avery takes popcorn most days for a snack to school. So we really, really like this kind. Highly, highly recommend. If you guys order from Thrive Market, get this Himalayan pink salt organic popcorn. It's really, really good. Some kind breakfast bars. Black seeds, I've been adding that to my smoothies every day. I add it to the girls' smoothies as well. They really like these mini fruit bars. So I've been doing the protein smoothies and, so I've been doing the protein smoothies and the um, protein shakes almost daily and I kind of get bored of the same thing. So sometimes I'll just look for something to add to it. So I'll either do like peanut butter powder, powdered peanut butter um, to change up the flavor very easily. Also to add a little bit of protein or something like cacao nibs. I always kind of laugh when I say cacao. It sounds like I'm a bird just making a noise. <laughs> um, but this is something that you can add that adds, a, it changes the flavor just a little bit and it sweetens it up a bit. So I got those, um, some pasta. This is the chickpea pasta. So 14 grams of protein. The girls think this tastes just like regular pasta. So um, just gives a little bit more nutrition than your normal pasta. Um, applesauce pouches, that's a staple. Some roasted garlic sauce um, that I'll use with that. Peanut butter, some ranch, and more jelly. This is our favorite, this wild blueberry fruit spread. Really and honestly love Thrive Market. I've been a member for over two years. If you're on the fence, just give it a try. I truly don't think you guys are gonna be disappointed at all. And if you join Thrive Market today, you will get 30% off your first order, plus a free gift worth up to $60. And if you guys have any Thrive Market favorites, please share with me, because you guys have rec recommended some great things, like specifically this creamer you guys recommended to me, and I love it. So let me know your favorites in the comment section.
morning. So the full recipe for this protein shake is listed in the description. I like this one because it's sweet, but not overly sweet. I'm not a big sweet fan, so it kind of is like a treat and it has the consistency of a milkshake and it's just really really good and like i said i got this aloha vanilla protein powder from thrive market because it's the cheapest there compared to other stores that i shop and if you guys aren't familiar with thrive market it's an online membership based grocery store with a huge selection of organic groceries, snacks, supplements, eco-friendly cleaning supplies, non-toxic beauty items, personal care items, organic kids products. They have wine and meat and so much, but we really like it because they have a huge variety and I'm constantly switching up the different snacks and stuff to fully stock our, our pantry. So with Thrive Market, you can filter the catalog of products by diet and lifestyle, product types, and your favorite brands. So if you're gluten-free, vegan, keto, you can shop over 90 plus diets and values. So if you're trying to add in more protein like I currently am, Thrive Market makes it easy to filter by value so I can filter foods by high in protein since that's something I'm focusing on right now. And as a Thrive Market member, you'll save on every single order of the highest quality organic and sustainable products. And if you find a lower price somewhere else, they'll match it. There's different, a couple different membership options. There's a month to month, which is $12 a month. And then there's an annual membership, which it comes to $5 a month, billed at $59.95 we have the annual membership and you will make back your annual $60 membership back in savings and if you don't thrive market will credit you the difference orders over $49 ship free and it's crazy fast like in cra crazy crazy fast it's as simple as that you don't have to tip or there's no additional fees Again, they have guaranteed savings. If you have a yearly membership and at the end of the year, you don't save as much as you spent on the membership, they will credit you the difference. So there's nothing to lose. I save $67 on my latest order. So only when you go to thrivemarket.com slash Jamie's Journey, do you get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60. So click the link in my description box or go to thrivemarket.com slash Jamie's Journey to again get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60. This is the aftermath of the holiday season. We have holiday popcorns. You know, we've been we've been given gifts. We have a bag of holiday popcorn in there, extra snacks that the girls got in stockings and from school and other holiday engagements. So just a lot of stuff in here. And what I'm gonna do is just come in here, spruce things up, go through everything like yeah, like some of these boxes in here, we barely have anything. We're gonna clean this up. And there's spoon. Why are there, I don't know why there's spoons. I was almost gonna say, why is there money? And it's cause the girls got a gumball machine for Christmas. This was one of the top gifts that they asked for. This, <laughs> top gifts. Um, they know they're supposed to ask us before they put any money in there to get gum out. But this little thing was honestly at the top of all of their lists. Yeah, look, there's like four bags of something in that big box. So we are gonna clean this out, restock with all the goodies from Thrive and get this pantry looking good.
So I definitely want to properly organize our pantry. That's kind of a goal this year, but I'll tell you, I'm overwhelmed with it. When it came to bathroom organization, for me, it, it, it's a big project. Any organi organization project, I know when sometimes when you look at it on an Instagram reel or a TikTok or a YouTube video, it looks like it, it, a fairly simple process, but I've been open with you guys that it does take me a long time. It's a lot of work. But with the bathroom, most of the items that are in my bathroom will continue to be stay there. Essentially, I, I have the same items. Like I have lotions, I have extra toothpaste, um, I have my, my self-tanner supplies and stuff like that. Like that stuff that is always in my bathroom. When it comes to a pantry, I'm a little overwhelmed with organizing it. Oh, this is a lunch packing station. You can kind of see it. So I have the sandwiches, the fruit and veggies, then she can pick something from there and then also something from the pantry. And these are all also our snack bins. So when the girls get home from school or if they want a snack, I can say, okay, grab something from that bin or the bigger bin in the fridge. But anyways, what I was saying was, with the pantry stuff kind of always changes you know like what we have in there we don't always have the same items and so when i organize i kind of look at each individual grouping or item and say okay how can i organize this or what would be the best way for our family to organize it like for example okay like pasta we're always going to have dried pasta in our pantry so that would be an example that would be pretty pretty easy to find an organizer or canister or whatever or same thing with cereals, but we don't always have Cheez-Its. We don't always have popcorn. So I'm a little overwhelmed, but this is one area that I am just ready to organize because it frequently gets de it fre frequently gets cluttered and messy and it drives me crazy. So this is on my list. We'll see, hopefully I can get to it soon. So here in a minute, I'm gonna gather all of the empty boxes and chuck them out into the garage. Mike usually takes them to the recycling recycling center if our recycling bin is too full. But I came across this TikTok recently and made me laugh because when we get boxes, I just chuck them out into the garage and he always takes care of them. And this TikTok was essentially a, um, a lady chucking the boxes out into the garage and said it's payback as she went and picked up, assuming her partner or husband's clothes off of the floor. And it kind of made me laugh because Mike will just, before bed, he'll just take off his clothes and he just drops them to the floor. He just puts his clothes on the floor. And I'm always, when I'm gathering clothes up for the wash each day, grabbing his clothes from the floor. But you know what? It doesn't bother me. And he never complains about picking up all of the boxes scattered around the garage. So I just thought that was kind of funny. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys are doing well today. I am tired, I'm sure you can tell. Try to cover it up with a little bit of makeup. Um, but I got woken up early this morning and I couldn't go back to sleep, so I'm a little tired. So the girls don't have school today because it's pretty cold and we got some snow 
and ice overnight and i think just it's so cold out that when we got the snow that we did it just made the roads really really icy so they canceled school today so we got the call i think it was at like 5 30 this morning five five o'clock so we got the call we usually get a text and a call it woke me up and I could not go back to bed, so I'm a little tired. Um, but there are a few things I wanna get done this morning before we probably do something together later this afternoon because it's kind of like a snow day, even though there's really not that much snow on the ground. It's still a snow day. I think they said the temperature, I don't know what the actual temperature is, but it feels like negative 16. So, you know, some kids have to stand out at the bus stop. Luckily, Avery does not have to. The bus comes and stops right in front of our house. So it's not really a concern for us, but some kids have to wait at the bus stop. Some kids have to walk. No school today. I have the girls upstairs. They're cleaning their rooms. And then I told them when they're done, they can watch a TV show together. Um, they've been watching Barbie, which by the way is so cute because when I had the twins, Avery was really into Barbie, um, like the Barbie shows. And now the twins are getting into it and it's just crazy that I'm like, gosh, they're the same age Avery was when I had them. Seems like a lifetime ago. But anyways, they're cleaning their rooms. They're gonna start watching Barbie. I'm gonna make a few recipes, do some meals. I will have this full recipe linked in the description so I won't be walking you step by step on how to make these full description or full recipe in the description but if you guys have been around for a while I've made energy bites before the difference with these is you add vanilla protein powder and here's a little tip so I've come across different protein bite recipes before where you added protein powder but they still had a little chalky taste so a little tip if you're adding protein powder to yogurt which I've been doing lately instead of adding or even in this case I added water to the protein powder in mix that up before I put it in with the rest of the ingredients. So that is the key so you don't get chalky, that chalky taste. I've also been, sometimes when I don't want a protein shake but I want like a high protein snack, I'll take Greek yogurt and add some protein powder to it. I've tried it before, we're just adding the protein powder directly to the yogurt and you get that chalky taste. But if I mix up the protein powder with water first and then add it to the Greek yogurt, it's it's good so there's a little hack for you but i just mix it all up in a bowl and then i'm going to put it in the fridge for about 15 or 20 minutes to harden them a little bit so i can make them into little bites another high protein breakfast snack or you can really make these um, or eat these any time of the day they are McGriddle bites I have made these before the kids really like them so you can use any pancake mix but I use the protein pancake mix again full recipe for this is also in the description these are so easy the girls ended up eating these for dinner that evening just because we wanted something warm since it was so cold out but these are really really good we topped them with some syrup
Okay, so when I make the protein bites, you mix all the ingredients up and then I put it in the fridge for maybe about 15 or 20 minutes just to make them a little bit hard. And then I can put them into balls. Here they still are a tiny bit sticky. So once I put them on this um, pan, or tray then I go and put them in the freezer for another like I usually half an hour an hour it doesn't really matter until they're frozen and then I put them in a Ziploc storage bag and store them in the freezer and then just pop them out they defrost within five minutes they are so good I actually kind of prefer them like slightly frozen and just as they're defrosting you guys these are so so good you have to try them We're getting to the end of the video and I have not shared high point and low point to the week. So my high point, I'll start out with that. We haven't even gotten there yet, but I'm so excited for this weekend to just get away, break away from the practices, activities, games, you know, shuffling to and from school and basketball and softball and soccer practice and just kind of relax. Like I said, um, it'll just be nice to socialize with his coworkers. Um, I'll be meeting them for the first time and then we'll just get to have like a fun evening um, away. So I'm really, really looking forward to that just to get away. And then the low point would just be, it's been so cold. Like I said, we've been cooped up in the house. We've had days off of school because of the extreme cold. Some kids in our district have to walk. Some kids have to sit outside and wait for the bus. So we've had, we had Monday off because of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And then we have had multiple days off because of the extreme cold wind chills of negative 15, negative 20. So at this point, everyone's going a little stir crazy, getting on each other's nerves. You know, Mike's business as usual, trying to work. The kids are just starting to like lose it because we were home all last weekend. We had a really relaxing, lazy weekend at home. And then they've been off multiple days. So everyone's going a little crazy and we just need to go back to our routines and a little separation. So, you know, not a horrible bad part to the week it is fun because the kids have that like snow day excitement and I love watching it because it's like a good memory as a kid like the excitement of getting school off unexpectedly so it is fun to watch it as a mom but life is also a little chaotic when things don't go on like normal but I'm always trying to look at the positive and although it's crazy I am grateful that I'm home Mike's even home you know although he's working he's still home we don't have to worry about child care or worrying about what happens when school gets unexpectedly cut off and I know that's a big headache for a lot of parents so I'm also trying to look at the positive and at least we don't have to worry about that and I'm very grateful. So I'm gonna be wrapping up the video here in a minute, but don't forget to check out Thrive Market if it's something you've been thinking about. You can click the link in my description box or go to thrivemarket.com slash Jamie's Journey to again, get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60. Another week. 
I was going to say another clean, another week, another clean house, but my upstairs is not clean. Well, actually, all the girls' rooms are clean, um, and maybe after we do some fun things this afternoon, we can tackle the playroom together. So for the most part, things are decent. <laughs> um, but I will say that as long as my kitchen and living room, or the downstairs, like this main level, as long as this, the living room and the kitchen, and our bedroom, and our bathroom. <laughs> Should I add on any other? <laughs> Should I add on any other rooms? To be honest, as long as the main level is clean, I definitely feel good, good enough. And then I was gonna say our bedroom because I like to sleep better when our house is, or our bedroom is clean. Um, but anyways, <laughs> the living room and the kitchen are, are clean and so is our bedroom, so I'm feeling pretty good. Thank you so much for being here, hanging with me all day long. Um, you guys are amazing and I just appreciate you. I know I'm coming up I think on seven years here on YouTube and I can't believe it's been this long and I'm just so grateful to still be here and I'm here because of you and I'm grateful for you. So thank you for allowing me to continue making videos here on YouTube. You guys really it means a lot to me. So anyways, I hope you have a fantastic week. You can handle whatever comes your way, I promise. And yeah, have a great week and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.